My name is Carmen Turner. I'm from Albany, Georgia. I do have four children. I've been a mother, a single mother of four. That really pushes me to get up and go every day. I'm a mom of two. I have a 24-year-old um, on the autism spectrum, and I have a 16-year-old um, daughter. Well, during COVID, I uh, left my job of uh, 26 years. Um, they were giving out packages due to COVID. They no longer needed that much staff. So I have um, been working part-time, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have insurance as part-time, although I'm trying to find full-time employment. 24 years old, uh, I, live, um, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm currently working at a warehouse and I never, um, I never got health care before. On my own, I never got it before. Yes, I am currently uninsured. Um, I had my son back in January of 2022. Um, a year and one month after I had him, they removed me from my insurance. As I'm hired on as a part-time worker. It's just due to us being short-staffed, we basically have to work 40 hours, but we're not getting the benefits of working 40 hours. I'm just basically a part-time employee. And then since I've been taken off of my insurance back in February, I have been applying for different programs, but it's either, oh, if you don't have this and we can't approve you, or the amounts that I'm giving for monthly payments are just ridiculous. I have applied for, you know, health care through the government. I was uh, denied health care. I've tried to reapply, but I, it has been very difficult. Uh, I haven't been able to get anyone on the phone and, you know, or get an appointment with anyone. I did um, get a message back, uh, let's see, a few weeks ago, and it said that they received my application, but they were behind and that it would take another month. Well, then I get a letter in the mail the day of my appointment, saying that my appointment is this day. But of course, by the time I got the mail, I had missed the appointment. And then um, I try to call and reschedule and I just go to voicemail and then they say, then they say the voicemail box is full. So it's just like I'm running into one um, brick wall, so to speak, or just one challenge after the other. I don't have health insurance right now. I feel I do need it and I need to look into it. It's just, it just I haven't done it yet. If I get injured or something, I might not have the money at the moment. Or I might have it like two months from now or something. So they'll put me on a payment, a payment plan. And yeah. with me, a single mother is like, okay, I need the insurance, but if I get the insurance, it's just gonna put me in a bind because I really can't afford it. I'm just paying for it because I need it. I had surgery in April of this year. I feel like I wasn't given the complete care that I would have been given if, you know, if I did have that health insurance. Um, it has affected me being able to work as far as um, I'm diabetic, so um, me not having access to medication. I got, um, I got, I had a really horrible diabetic um, episode and was in the hospital for five days this past um, March. Um, I did, you know, I had to go to the ER. Um, they admitted me, kept me for five days. And now I have all these outrageous doctor bills because I went with no insurance. Of course, I missed work. You kind of stress over doctor bills. You try to stay healthy because you know you really can't afford to go to the doctor. Well, I haven't been to the doctor. So it's like a daily effect because when I get paid, the paying those companies back are part of my bills because, you know, you can't just leave those bills out there because they're going to keep coming back. So I have to fit in, you know, I went and had this done this week. So I know when I receive that bill, when I get paid, that's $150 I owe LabCorp or that's $150 that I owe, you know, who 
whoever I had to go to at the time to have my imaging done. So it's a daily effect on me not having insurance. Well, um, you know, of course, my son, he needs access as well to insurance. And the main concern I have with him is it's really hard for him to keep a job. But once he starts, if he had the health care and the therapist and whatever medications he need, I think he would do better being able to keep a job, but that's a concern I have for him. He lost another job and he said, Mom, I need to get um, some medication. And um, I did take him to the doctor and, you know, um, it was just so expensive. Um, did have um, Medicaid, I think it was Medicaid or Peach Date before. Mm -hmm. It was Peach prior to, because I basically had pregnancy insurance. So after being removed from my insurance, it's just like with reaching out to different programs, some programs I have never even received the response back from. And then some programs, they'll respond to you, but then it's like a computer generated response. And then if you call to speak with someone, you know, you're stuck waiting on the phone for someone from customer service to answer so that you can get to someone and try to actually speak with them about their insurance policies. I feel like it would have been easier if I actually had, you know, someone that I could directly speak to. So I don't know why it's so um, difficult to access, access the health care that's supposed to be in place for people like me who um, are transitioning or trying to find a job or for whatever reason, unemployed or underemployed. Um, I thought it was primarily in place for the people like me and it's very challenging to access it. Bottom line, they need to make it more accessible. Um, first of all, you don't, it takes three months to get an appointment from when I applied. And then you call over the phone, you don't leave a message. Um, so I'm not able to call you back or you send a letter in the mail telling me I missed the appointment and call this number to reschedule. Even that letter comes late. If you don't reschedule within three days, you'll have to reapply. And I'm just like, I don't think, you know, you give up. For myself, I wish for a better health. Like I'm just, trying to get back on track and get back to myself after, you know, undergoing surgery and experiencing what I've been experiencing the last few months. Yeah, my hope is that we do, um, that we receive quality health care and that we can um, just have access to quality health care.